let's talk about ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation, also known as V-fib, is probably one of the worst, or probably the worst, dysrhythmia that you're going to see in your patient. And the reason being is the ventricles are no longer doing what they need to do, so the patient's not going to have any pulse, any blood pressure, they're going to be unconscious, and they're pretty much dead uh, unless you are able to act quickly. Now, what are ventr ventricles are the bottom two chambers of the heart. So the top two are the atrium, the bottom two are the ventricles. It's the ventricle's job to, to squeeze the blood out of the heart. The right ventricle squeezes it off to the lungs and the left ventricle squeezes it to the rest of the body. So, a normal EKG, you'll see a P wave, which is going to be the atrium contracting. You'll then see the QRS complex, which is the ventricles contracting. And then you will see a T wave, which is the ventricles relaxing. Okay? Now, in V-fib, the ventricles have gone piast... So VTAC is the ventricles very, very fast, um, not effective because they're not having time to completely relax. So in VTAC, you may still have a pulse. VTAC looks different than V-fib in that you'll see the sawtooth pattern because you'll still see uh, there's a good contraction with each bit. In V-fib, they're fibrillating. Fibrillating doesn't mean that they're contracting. That means that there's electricity going everywhere, and so the chamber is just quivering. The muscles are just shaking, okay? So when you look at the EKG, you're not going to see big sawtooth contractions here. You're going to see it's just quivering all over the place. And that is the telltale sign of ventricular fibrillation. Signs and symptoms of the patient, they're not going to have any pulse because the pulse is a result of the ventricles contracting, but they're not contracting, so there's no pulse. Blood pressure is caused by the push of the blood through the blood vessels, pushing pressure on the blood vessels. They're not pulsating, there's no blood pressure. At this point, there's no oxygen or blood going to the brain, so they're going to stop breathing. There's going to be no heart sounds because the heart is not contracting. The patient's going to be unconscious. So treatment for this is you're going to need to do CPR and a defibrillator. CPR is the temporary, uh, temporarily pushing the blood out of the heart to supply the brain and the other organs. Um, and at that point, you'll also be doing O2 and the other part of CPR, which is the breathing, to get the oxygen into the blood. Defibrillator is going to come in and it's going to shock the heart. And what it's going to do is it's going to try to shock. There's, there's shocks coming from all around the heart causing defibrillation. You want to shock it so strong that it just starts to over clean and hopefully it'll pick up to its normal rhythm. Uh, the patient may also need antidysrhythmic medications. Um, you may need to start an IV and, let, and by CPR you're going to be pushing those medicines artificially through the body and so that they'll get to the heart and where they need to be because you may shock the heart all good and well but if it goes back to an environment that c would cause V-fib, whether that's bad electrolytes or, or whatever the cause may be, you, you're, it's just going to go right back into V-fib. So you want to make sure that you're getting the antidepressant medications and then they get defibbed and hopefully come back to normal. So uh, ventricular fibrillation, uh, I told you here's VTAC because there's still contractions, they may still have a pulse. Uh, and this puts them at risk for going into V-fib and you can tell because now it is just quivering. That's different than atrial fibrillation and that in atrial fibrillation you see the quivering but then you see QRS complex, QRS complex. So you can see the ventricles are still working good in AFib. So that's a quick summary of VFib.